So, in the beginning, there was internet. That's it. My name is Christian Fitzharris, and I have a background in comedy, variety, circus, and general performing arts. Previously, I was working with Cirque du Soleil uh, with their show Kuza, and I had co-created the two clown acts and the storyline for that show. So there was a collaboration. We, we went through a creative process, which there was like a year. So uh, <laughs> this, this is a little bit shorter, but it also makes, the, the list is no less. At the very you know, foundation of my company, I started bringing in professionals, and the first people I brought in were from Salt and Banco. That sort of started me with wanting to work with artists from around the world, bringing them to Portland, the cultural exchange with my students and the community, and it's really been the foundation of, of our work. I was on the internet, I was looking at different cabaret shows, and Ariel popped out, and Pendulum popped out, and then being able to watch some of the videos, I got to see some really intense Ariel stuff going on, so then immediately I was drawn in like, oh okay, this looks interesting, I don't know if they need my services, but I'd like to put it forward and put it out there, so I think it was just a uh, luck of the timing for it to work out for everyone. I wanted to bring in a clown figure. She's conveying what's going on in all of the, the acts. You're following a person. She is that blank canvas that gets, you know, the highs, the lows, the good, the bad. It's, it's really cool, because that is not exactly how I thought it was going to be when he came. So, but it's turned out to be exactly what it should have been. I think it was Stephen Hawking who oh, originally yes. pointed me in the direction, the painter character. My experiences both at Cirque du Soleil and doing cabaret shows um, previous to Cirque du Soleil gave me the experience of going, okay, here's how we get out of this situation. And my background since I was uh, a child was improvisational comedy. So in the beginning, very beginning, you know, when I was 10 years old, I was performing magic and juggling. And uh, when a trick would go wrong, I would then make up a funny way to get out of it. And this ties directly into story creation because of the fact that we discover stories through improvised impulses and moments that bring you through and then you just take it, write it down, rehearse it, and it's called now a story. My company is not just about the tricks, it is about the story and the acting. That is a huge component. Otherwise, you know, there's a million people that can do a tissue act or whatever the act is. It's about drawing the, the, the people into your world on an emotional level. It's been exciting because I don't usually get to work with a large group of eager performers that are so energetic and like, uh-huh, uh-huh, like they're ready to go. And if you come up with an idea, it's really just about getting everyone in the proper headspace. If you come up with an idea and then someone else grabs onto it and all of a sudden it's like a, oh yeah, this is good, and it goes click, 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 and it all falls into place. It's really going to be exciting to see how it comes together for high art because People in Portland want to support a show that's from Portland, that is a performance group from Portland, named Pendulum. It's all with peas. Everybody is really attached and feels warm about it, and now it's just about getting it out there so people can come to the show.